Welcome to Dwarf Fortress and welcome to the channel. I'm Twisted Logic. In this episode, I'm going to be building a mist generator. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more videos. I had already built the power supply in a previous video, which I'll link in the card here. And I built another horizontal axle here and another gear assembly above. On this level here, this X level, I'm going to go down one Z and then um, build statues. In a four by four box, just like that. Right above where I set the statues to be constructed, I'm going to dig out channels so that way I can see the statues from the above level. Okay, so I selected one of the statues at random and built a wall around it with a door. Um, the door is only there because um, they'll still be able to place that statue if they, if they finish that before. Oh, it looks like he's placing it now. Zulbin. Okay, now that the um, walls and door are around the one statue, the next level up, I for zones. And then make a zone here. Uh, pit and pond. So P, and then shift P. Uh, for a pit and pond, F, pond is not full. And now the dwarves are going to start water hauling and filling the space with water. Now build um, shift M for a screw pump. And this one is um, pumping from the north. I want it to pump out of this square into this square. Enter. Just place this. Um, it's water, so the material doesn't matter. This one is going to be pumping from the east here. This one is going to be pumping from the south. And this one is going to be pumping from the west. So it's going to create a um, it's going to create a ring here. I'm going to build a lever right here and I'm going to hook that up to this gear assembly. Okay, so this lever right here, add a new task. A for assembly. And then I'm going to select the one right next to it. Okay, so all the pumps are created now. And um, I'm going to pull this lever to deactivate this pump. So this water in this space right here is now 27. So we're going to wait till this gets full. Okay, build, shift M, and then G for gear assembly. I'm going to put that in the corner right here. And then G again for another gear assembly and put that in this corner. Okay, build, shift M for machine component and then G for another gear assembly. Um, because right now um, power comes in and it's hooked up to this pump. Um, this gear assembly moves power across to this pump, but these two pumps are not part of the system. So I need to either pull the gear assembly here or here. I'm going to build it right here. Okay, so this tile now is 7-7 seven, seven deep of water. And we're ready to test the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this lever. Now. So what should happen when this lever is uh, thrown is it's going to engage this gear assembly, which is going to activate all of the pumps at once. This pump is going to pump the water here onto this tile, and then it's going to fall and create mist. This pump is then going to collect the water and move it into this tile, which is going to fall and collect, create mist as well, and go around in a loop. Okay, excellent. So we have the seven tile of water going around in a circle. And down here, uh, we have mist generation. I'll we'll just let it run for a couple minutes. Uh, yes. 
Now we have our mist coming out and designations in to remove construction. And we can get rid of these walls and X to remove this door. And as long as we don't turn off this machine, it'll continuously generate mist. Now I can go to I um, and create a zone here and set this as a meeting area, uh, location. And then we'll just turn this into a temple. Now I go to I and then X to remove the zone and just get rid of the one right there. Now that the temple is set up and the walls are removed, we're smooth stoning the floor again and the mist generator is complete. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.